welcome to another one of my videos and today I'm going to make a canvas for you but before uh, starting on the canvas I would like to talk about pastels so uh, what is a pastel well a pastel is an art medium and it's composed of pure, pure powdered pigment and a binder and by playing with these two elements, so the pigment and the binder, there are different uh, types of pastels. The first one is what we call a soft pastel. And in a soft pastel, there is more pigment than binder. So it means that it's great for smudging. But as it smudges really easily, you have to fix it as well. And you, could, you can do that really easily just by using hairspray, for example. Now, soft pastels often quite come in chalk form, okay? So the colors are a little less vivid, uh, but really easily smudged. Uh, next kind of pastel is a pan pastel, and this doesn't come in a stick form, but in a flat compact, like um, you would find women's makeup, for example. And this is, um, the pan pastels, you can use them uh, really easily and they, they smudge really easily as well. Then you've got hard pastels and in hard pastels the binder is a lot more present than the pigment. So uh, it's used a lot more when for drawing and drawing details etc. And then you've got the oil pastels. Here are some oil pastels I've got. I went for the more neon colours. Okay. So these are oil pastels, okay? And oil pastels, they have a soft buttery consistency and they have really intense colors. And as they are very hence, uh, dense, sorry, uh, they will fill the grain of the paper. So if, if you've got a little bit of textured cardstock, they will fill really well and give a nice vivid color. They are a little more difficult to blend, and I'll try and show you that. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so I'm going to take a maybe a darker color here. So this is my pastel, my oil pastel, and it blends, but you really have to work really hard. Okay, but there we go. If you want to blend colors together, it will be a lot more difficult. Okay. Um, if you want to thin them, you can, but you have to use turpentine. And I'm not a big fan of products like that, so uh, I will show you something else that will work really well instead of oil pastels. And then you've got the last type of pastel, and I've got some here as well, and they these are called neo colors, and they are water soluble wax pastel so it means that you can use them as a pastel okay. these are a lot harder to to rub you see these are but what's nice about these so i'm going to try and up oh, there we go with water here we go they dissolve in water so I'm going to try and show you. On the camera, I think the color looks quite the same, but the texture is a little bit different. This one you can see has really gone into the paper, whereas this one is a little more, it, it, it looks a lot more like watercolor. Okay. And the last product I wanted to show you are gelettos. And it's the same principle as the neo colors, but the colors are a lot more vivid, but they also dissolve in water. Okay, so I'm going to take the same color again. Here we go. It comes in a, a little pen form, sorry. It's trying to, the camera is trying to dress, adjust. Okay, and a bit like lipstick, I would say. <laughs> That's maybe why I love them so much. Okay, so there we go. And here, I'm Try and do the same thing. Okay, so you can see the color is a lot more, is a lot brighter. And here the smudging is so easy. This is really... Okay, so there we go. And these two, if you take your... They dissolve in water. 
I really, really love the gelatos. They are so fun. And the colours are really fabulous. And if you want to create um, nice effects, the gelatos are perfect for creating what like the effects like ombre or ombre. I'll just go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to take a few colours here. I'm going to go in my, with my blues and I've taken some white. So I'm going to start off with the... I'm going to zoom out again. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my white here. With my little white blue. Okay. Darker. Isn't there much of a difference here? Do they put the same in it? I'm just going to mix them together. So here's my white and my blue. So this is going to give a lighter blue. There we go. And the colors are just going to all blend in together. along the way just to oh I messed it all up I'm gonna add some more white here if you're using these uh, gelatos and you want to add water would be a good idea to use really good uh, watercolor paper for example otherwise you, you will start uh, the paper won't resist with the water okay. now there are lots of uh, extra products you can get for um, the gelatos uh, things that uh, that will uh, make the color pop even more etc so it's a really really cool product so I hope you've learned something new and that you'll try out some oil pastels or these wax pastels that dissolve in water. It's a really fun um, product and you can use it in so many ways. Um, I'll just quickly show you how I use them as well. You can use them on chipboard, for example. Okay. So here, for example, I'm going to color my chipboard. This is just an oil pastel and it's a neon pink color. So if you're into all these, the neon trend, this is a really great way of adding. Hey, my own little neon letter. Isn't that cool? I'm going to try and get some white underneath. Isn't that, that's just so fun. I've got here uh, what I did earlier on, if I can find them. Here they are. I made this little butterfly. Okay, this is a, a Studio Cat. This is these are canvas butterflies I got from Studio Calico. And I went over with them with the gelatos. I used two colors and some white around the border. It creates this really lovely effect. And then uh, I vamped up my little Tweety, my little birdie from 
sorry, from Studio Calico. And here I used a uh, yellow, an orange, and a dark orange, creating another ombre effect. Okay. So here I used them on scrapbooking products, which is really cool. And you could also use them on, for example, these products by Studio Calico, which are, they've, they've got uh, hexagons, they've got cameras, they've got uh, lots of shapes, and you can use mists on them, but you could also use the pastels, okay, oil pastels, or the gelatos, or these uh, water-soluble wax pastels. Okay, so I'll show you how I created my canvas. Bye!